Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Lesejo and I'm just a regular melon mom. So I'm super excited that we've reached 30 subscribers. I know these are like the early beginnings of my channel, but I'm really excited and I'm so grateful that you subscribed. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this. So I created my own marble gel nails and actually YouTubed um, to find sort of the best and easiest technique that you can also use like household products and just um, your normal nail supplies that you already would have. Um, so I'm quite the DIYer. I love a good DIY project and I thought why not share. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys all of the supplies you actually need to do this. So firstly, um, you're going to need your like regular nail polish remover. You're gonna need your regular, what's the thing called? Um, I'm dumbfounded, I can't remember the name of this thing, but you guys know what it is, right? A nail file. And then I used um, these nail art brushes I actually bought from China Mall in Joburg. And basically you just need like a super thin and fine um, brush, like just with a really fine point. And then I also just use this brush, which has like sort of a flat point just to, to create a more arty look. So a pair of tweezers, cotton, white nail polish, as well as a black nail polish. And then to finish off, I used my gel um, top coat because I just wanted it to have like a really nice thick finish and also I find that when I use gel it lasts much longer than normal nail polish if you are going to be using a gel coat um, a UV lamp I bought this one at China Mall as well in Joburg and it was pretty affordable I think I spent about 350 or 400 on this also lastly you'll need like a little mixing bowl okay so that's all the supplies I hope that you guys enjoyed the video let's get into this is how I feel about you my head spinning through the roof If you do those things you do I might just fall in love with you Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off by filing down my nails, then using my nail polish remover just to take away any excess oils on my nails. I'm also gonna use a pair of tweezers to also just um, shave off any extra nail. Now I'm gonna be taking my white nail polish and putting a couple of layers until I'm satisfied. Then I'm gonna mix my two colors, the black and white, to form a nice light gray color. I'm just gonna mix it until I'm satisfied with the color and then use my art brush to start creating strokes very lightly, um, just going in the same direction. And this just gives the nail a bit of texture um, for that marble feel. I'm also just gonna take the same brush and dip more into the white nail polish to just smooth it out and just make it blend a little more. Next, I'm gonna be using that really fine brush, dip it into the black nail polish, and I'm just gonna start creating veins for the marble effect. I start with just like a nice squiggly line, then add a vein to it, um, and then I'm just gonna continue doing this. Um, and where they meet, um, it's nice to create like um, a darker look just to give it that marble like effect. And you'll see me do it on another nail just now. So you're just going to repeat this pattern for all your nails until you're satisfied and I'm just going to go ahead and create a bit more texture with my brushes and you can be really creative here because um, there's so many different types of marble um, so have fun with it. I'm just also now going to go back in with my nail polish remover just to clean up my nails. I tend to be a little messy, so this just will give it um, a nicer finish. Um, now that I'm done, I'm going to take my gel top coat and just go over it with a few layers. And then I'm going to cure it in my UV lamp. And if you're using a, nail, a normal nail polish, that's okay too. And that is the final look, guys. Um, so I think I did pretty good for my first attempt. 
um let me know how you guys go if you do try it out thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one